Okay, I thought I'd try to explain better what was going on with my um, probes. And these are two RTD liquid tight sensors or probes, uh, two inch, and they are weldless. Uh, the problem I had when I put this brew stand together originally is these are wired differently and that really caused me a lot of trouble. This one here is wired. The two are, that are in common are one and two and on this one the two that are in common are three and uh, one. Yes, three and one. So it, you, it's hard to see, but there's little numbers on that blue. Um, and so one would work and the other wouldn't. And uh, so what we ended up doing was uh, we rewired. Uh, these are the these are what come with it, and uh, we had to cross wire um, these um, uh, to make them work. And then I ordered upgraded cables, so I was back at the the same thing. And I wanted to keep these nice factory welds and connections, so these cables caused the same trouble again. So I ordered two new ones, and I don't know if the company will do anything, but I've got two new probes. Hopefully these are wired uh, correctly, and then I'll be able to use uh, these. And then in my, uh, I was able to use factory uh, connections, and I'll show you that on the, uh, so this is a nice wire uh, braided, same wire as inside. Um, I, I'm assuming, but now you've got a nice braided. And I didn't like the one that I had before because then I had to I had to say which was HLT and which one was mash ton. And that really was kind of just a pain in the neck. So hopefully I'll be able to put this back together and it'll work. So um, I use the Blickman and I just take, what I do is I um, the hole is very it's uh, very tight for the probe, but it does go in there um, with a little effort. And I just take the thermometer, I take that out, and I put the probe in there. Um, when you're doing a 10-gallon batch, that's fine. If you're doing a 5-gallon batch, it's a little high uh, for um, what you might want to do. But um, generally when I'm doing this, I'm doing a 10-gallon system or a 10-gallon batch. So I'm going to put this together and I'm going to test, uh, test it out on my um, control panel and see if I got any errors. So here's the back of my control panel. And these are the factory connections that came with it. And then they are... Uh, on the back side uh, they are soldered and then a wire goes uh, to the PIDs that are here and so that is already I already wired that this is HLT and this is the mash ton so I put on the new cable onto the factory connection I've put these into my kettles and uh, they screwed in real nice um, so I'm gonna before I tighten them up real well, I'm going to uh, test this, make sure I don't have any errors here. Okay, so you probably are not going to be able to see that real well, but you can see I don't have any errors. It's reading 69.9, just air temperature on the uh, on the probes as they are in the kettle, and then the other one is reading 67.9. So one is warmer than the other, or um, maybe needs to be a little calibrated. But that is uh, good shape. So close enough for government work, no airs. 
I got nice neat connections got the new cables all factory wired and soldered and uh, obviously now I have two probes that are wired the same when I did this before I had one that would read temperature and the other one would give me an air until we cross wired it so we got temperature on both but that was um, with those uh, the other cables and then I had a short in one of those cables and I said well it's time to redo this and do it right so now the, the I just want to one thing I want to do today too is I want to adjust the parameters my HLT um, I have it set really just perfectly the mash tons a little off so I wanted to the mash tun to kick in a little sooner when the temperature drops so I can hold the mash temp uh, um, closer to my uh, target mash temperature so I think that's good I think that works really well <laughs>